to make sure that all of the presenters have been here. Let me check. Miss Febriana Aminatul Husna, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Miss. Can you hear my voice? Yes, it's clear. Yes. Yes, I can hear your voice. Okay. Miss Febriana, Febriana Aminatul Husna. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, can you uh, try to share your screen to make it, uh, to check it, whether it works? All right, wait a minute. Okay. Don't forget to rename your um, your name with Can you your name my... and your affiliation. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Try to slide show. Clear enough. Yes, but try to uh, make it. Here. Is it okay? Is can you try to slide a uh, slideshow to show all of the what the slides for the full screen? For the full screen, I mean. I have saw it. Okay. In okay. Try to click the enable editing in the top of your. Uh, PPT. Yeah. Ah, okay. Try to click the slideshow in the in the bottom of your PPT. Okay. Good. Try to move to another yes, side. I have. Yeah. Okay, good. Is it okay? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Brianna. You can stop sharing. Okay. Is Miss Helsa already here? Helsa Gita. Almaida. Hello, Miss Elsa. OK, 
Okay, how about Miss Kusniatu Zulaika? Is Miss Is Miss Kusniatu Zulaika already here? Hello, Miss Elsa. Would you please? Hello. Yeah. yeah. Would you please try to share your screen? Okay. Yeah, to show your presentation. Can you try to uh, make it? Can you try to slide here? It is still a dim. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, clearly. Thank you, Ms. Elsa. Hello. Okay, thank you, Ms. Elsa. You can stop sharing. Hello? Okay. Yeah. You can stop sharing with Helsa, but but you are going to present for the first. So it's okay. I will open the session. Okay? Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to parallel session one of the 
seventh language and language teaching conference in Zoom meeting. My name is Indri as the moderator. I'm a seventh semester student of English language education study program. I will be in charge in this parallel session. Before we start this parallel session, let me read the rules. First, its presentation will last for 15 minutes. Second, three presentations will be delivered in a row. And then the third, we will have question and answer after all of the presentation have finished. And fourth, other rules can be found in the program book. There are three presentations that will be presented in this room. Without any further ado, let's start with the first presentation entitled the use of digital platforms to increase students' creativity in learning during COVID-19. It will be delivered by Ms. Helsa Gita Almaida from Ibnu Khaldun University, Bogor. So, Ms. Helsa, you have 15 minutes. So, let's give Ms. Helsa a round of applause. Okay, Ms. Elsa, you can start your presentation. Hello everybody. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry before because of still loading. Okay. Can you hear my? Yes, Hello. Yes, Ms. Elsa. Your voice is clear. Okay. Thank you very much. okay uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for the participant and the speaker. Thank you very much. And hello, I'm here because I would love to give presentation about my paper. I'm Helsa Gita Almeida, and this paper, it will make by me and my team. She is Dewi Suryani Jamjuri. We are from Universitas Ibn Khaldun Bogor, and we would like to present about our paper. The title is the use of digital platforms to increase students' creativity in learning during COVID-19. Okay, the next is about background of the study. From the background of the, this study, I will take the many students consider learning during the COVID-19. very boring and had difficult understanding the material. 
The most common problems by students is tedious assignment in school books, which they cannot be creative in learning during the COVID-19. To overcome this problem, the teacher uses an interesting method so that students enjoy learning during the COVID-19. One of the learning methods to solve the problem of, of students' interest and creation in learning during the COVID-19 is using the digital platform. Many teachers have used digital platforms. Some of them use WhatsApp, Google Drive, YouTube channel, and Video Maker. And next is a methodology. From this methodology, I took the study of place quality qualitative approach. And the research participant of the study were the students of the Dang village, exactly in Porong Sidoarjo, East Java. Why I took qualitative approach because qualitative is the method to explore the, and understand the meaning that someone individuals or groups of people think come from social problems and then this in deep learning processing during COVID-19 The research instrument. The research instrument from this paper in conducting a qualitative research. The, the instrument were the researchers themselves and the data collected through observation, questionnaires, and interview techniques. There are some procedures of data collecting. First, found some theories about the use of digital platforms as an application that help them in learning processes. So I took this one, I tried to use the application such as WhatsApp group, YouTube channel, and Google Drive. The next step was preparing the questions and interviews guideline. In this procedure, I use questionnaire and interview for guideline the student after they, they work their project about their learning process. I give them the the uh, digital platform I asked them to answer and finish their assignment by using digital platform the next step was making group whatsapp to get the data session focus group discussion here I asked them to make uh, discussion in WhatsApp group. I make it and then I ask them to asking questions if they have questions about their project exactly from their learning and then the next is after that questionnaire sits were given to the participant and the result were analyzed i gave them the set of questionnaire and i asked them also to answer the questionnaire as well as possible after the the data from questionnaires were analyzed the researcher did interview session after they answer the questionnaires i and then I gave them about interview session by 
using Google Form and I asked them to answer my interview by Google Form. After the data from the interview were collected, the researchers did the focus group discussion. And then next it's about the step one. I'm sorry, Miss Elsa. We can't hear your voice. Next, it's about the step one. Let's analyze from the data interview and questionnaire. This, uh, okay, the next uh, findings. The researchers found the data that Hello, Ms. Elsa. Do you find any problems? This is my case. Okay, wait for Miss Helsa first, okay? Wait a minute. Miss Helsa, are you done with your presentation? Okay, thank you, Ms. Helsa, for your presentation. And now it's the time for the second presentation. Miss, it will be delivered by Miss Febriana Aminatul Husna from Bidar University with the paper entitled Surf Surviving Online Learning Challenge During the COVID-19 Pandemic, Can We? Okay, so Miss Fabriana, you have 15 minutes. You may start. Is my voice clear enough? Yes. Is my voice clear enough? Yes, Miss Fabriana, you can start. All right. Uh, here, here this, okay. surviving online learning challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this is uh, the first question here. Okay, there are four parts here I would like to focus. The first is introduction, what is the COVID-19, and then in online learning, and then second is methodology, third is result and discussion, and then fourth is conclusion. Right. In introduction, 
Uh, for the big one is the COVID-19 pandemic in 2000 and pandemic, all of education system uh, used online system. Not only education system, but also such as government, economic, and in other uh, background also use uh, online system to make a meeting or something that they have to face to face uh, meet. But also in this uh, part in COVID-19 pandemic, we have to use online system. And then the big uh, impact is that uh, in education system, they have to make uh, the new system that is on the system. And then for the challenge is uh, in all this system is depend on the technology itself because we can uh, run a, run the education without technology such as connection and then computer and that gadget and etc. And then an online learning is distance learning in Indonesia is large so they have to uh, know about it uh, what is what is the challenge and then what is the opportunity when they use online system in the education and then methodology uh, here is descriptive qualitative method and focus in phenomenological method with asking questionnaire and interview some students related to the online learning during COVID-19 pandemic phenomenon. So uh, actually qualitative descriptive is method to study spatial summarization in appreciation of specific event experience by individual or group. So it means that we didn't have uh, any numerical to show and the instrument also we use just um, describing and we got numerical and then for the phenomenological method which uh, verifies subject human experience is usually used in Australian prison. So in this we use some students to make sure they uh, experience the uh, phenomenon uh, online system and COVID-19 pandemic. And then as a result is, uh, there are four questions here, and then this is uh, an also the response. The first question is, did you encourage any difficulties during online learning? And then most of them, 100% participants have problems. And then second is what are and then there are four obstacles here. The first is technology, and then second is internet connection. Four is economic, such as they have to buy some water to connect the internet, and then four is the material. It uh, means they have they have find some difficulties to understanding the material uh, when the teacher or the lecturer explain the assignment. And then third is using online learning is effective in delivering material. And then 100% participants in online learning are not effective for learning and teaching. They found some difficulties such as uh, the connection also is the one uh, and the technology is the one of factor they have to pass it. So, uh the on they think online learning are not effective and then the last question is please give your feedback uh in this part uh i have uh give them uh things to give the feedback regarding the online learning learning system so with and then this is this there are there are four, uh, sorry, there are four in this part, uh, such as, first is challenges. I want some challenges uh, in online learning. The first challenge is more important is COVID-19 and me. So, teaching and learning with uh, exactly and more comfortable. And then second is technology with pandemic, casual, case all, 
areas of school from elementary to university still that far around the world. So to the place with only system that are assisted by technology and uh, as exactly for in Indonesia, it's not effective because in Indonesia, not all students have the good connection or uh, good, uh, they have uh, support, supporting uh, technology to access the online system. So they, uh, this is the common problem in Indonesia. And then the third is economic, with low socioeconomic for fit in, in TV to buy a broadband connection so that it can interfere with their ability in experience learning. So uh, now, somebody would have uh, give the free internet quota, but uh, not all of them get it. Uh, for example, in the university, there are uh, some of students until now, they still didn't get uh the internet quota so they have to spend their money to uh buy by the themselves and uh, the assessment is carried out online where the teacher is limited to the supervision of students so that the teacher is not free to control and control the cheating committed by students for example uh, in the university, midterm mid uh, has audited, and then they just the uh, this lecturer just send uh, the student uh, the email and the task. So uh, without any control, such as um, using conference video, sorry, video conference when they uh, do the assignment or do the uh, midterm test. Yes, uh, they just send the uh, question and then students just have to make sure that was do anything positive. And then in COVID-19 pandemic, uh, but also there are opportunity or the key uh, of the project for the, uh, not only in education, but also in all of the uh, study areas such as um, according to Manfuso in 2020 this information offer of the leading world university in Ohio said that actualization and making over more everyone use online learning so will be that can be achieved during 2020 years of in this part uh, we have to, in Indonesia, not all of before COVID-19 pandemic, not all uh, university or education system use online learning. So that in 2020, now every uh, education system used to uh, online system. It uh, make, can make, uh, it can be opportunity for all of uh, education aspects. They can accept the online learning, uh, so we can plan it with face, uh, traditional learning that is face to face. And then for the technology innovation is, yeah, up again to be 2020, it was that the opportunity for technological information innovation broke by the COVID-19 pandemic with the second world war, which is an opportunity for the development of rocket technology and computer it is that uh thing innovation is a uh, rapid uh developed rapidly so means that the COVID-19 pandemic give our opportunity to make sure that we can develop the technology just a uh, technology in uh, uh so it is the big achievement for us uh, for example, in a class, we usually just only PowerPoint and the screen display. So we just listen to the teacher uh, explain about the material. But in this time, we also use technologies such as Zoom, uh, Google Meet, and also the other ways to make sure uh, we can uh, adapt the condition 
the condition in online learning. And then for the conclusion itself is building online pandemic. The online learning is growing rapidly. Almost all academic institutions have switched to online system and then technological problems such as computer that are not comparative and teaching methods are the mind obstacles in the application of this stand listening or online learning method which is applied in almost education institution and in this period it also can open up opportunities to make education better COVID-19 pandemic forced the development of the digital technology to develop rapidly this period will be become a new phase for uh, online learning and enable people to accept e-learning technology innovation and digital development in a better direction so um we hope uh, this change the COVID-19 pandemic can bring big impact to our education and test the development and the development of technology and then the development of uh, teaching and learning so we also have a variation in teaching and learning the assignment and the big achievement that's all thank you Okay, thank you, Mr. Brianna, for your uh, interesting presentation. And I want to make sure again is Ms. Kusniatu Zulaika here. Okay, so it's better now. It's time for question and answer. Um, you can click on your raise hand icon to address your question directly, or you can also type your question in the chat box. Don't forget to mention your name and your affiliation. Okay, uh, I want to ask to Miss Febriana. Miss Febriana, can you hear my voice? Yes, I can hear. Okay, so I want to hear based on your experience uh, in this online learning. Do you find any difficulties? Yes, uh, question. Almost all of students in Tidal University find some difficulties. Although we have a website by ourselves such as Elita, e-learning untidar, but it's not effective. So we have to find out the any um what is any step to find out uh find it. We have to understand the material by uh, by ourselves because our teacher. <laughs> Sometimes are not uh, explained clearly. They just give our material and then give us the task and just left. That's all. We have to make, make sure we understand our material so we can pass the task. And also such as technologies and 
internet quota. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm uh, actually uh, I haven't get it from uh, from the school. Uh, well, I don't know for that. Uh, but also, uh, not all students in Kita University get a free quota to access the internet. And then, yeah, so the big problem is <laughs> that is okay, Ms. Fabiana. Can I ask one more? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Go on. Uh, how about um, the you know the assessment system or yeah, about the task that the student, the teacher, the lecturers give to you. Uh, is is there any any what deadlines like that? Uh, well, actually, for the assignment, we usually use some uh, video conference to uh, make sure we have to present uh, our material, uh, and then we usually have to make a video <laughs> and then we submit it in the site or YouTube or Instagram and then uh, we also use up a written test um, oh, there are some lecture uh, make us uh, make the assignment like we have to find out any conference or find out any journal so we have uh, to make the mini research such as paper we have to submit it and then if we have a like LOA letter of assessment it will be automatically we get A that's all okay thank you Miss Adriana for your answer and you have uh, there is some questions here in the chat box from Mr. Eddie first. So, Ms. Fabriana, the most, in, the most problem faced by teachers in online learning is waiting, waiting to submit their work or responses, waiting the students to submit their work or responses. How do you cope with this? All right, uh, good question, Miss Eddie. Thank you for your question. And then uh, we have to know about uh, the work itself. For example, when we uh, get assignments such as we have to make a video, so some le uh, lecturers uh, will give us a long deadline, for example, one week or two weeks and then we can make sure our uh, assignment um, submitted so we can also give uh, our lecturer the proof for example for screenshot we have submitted so and then what is waiting itself um, the most problem for uh, by teachers is online is waiting to submit the work yeah just i think that uh, for the deadline for the student especially is make sure about the deadline and then uh the quote of uh assignment and the teacher itself to make sure that student can do the assignment uh rapidly and then they feel more comfortable with the assignment and then they have to understand uh, the material. So uh, some of them also, uh, the lecturer also give uh, the material without uh, without their time uh, learning. For example, uh, today in 10 p.m. Uh, there are a uh, material, but also last night the lecturer was give us the material so we can prepare it what uh what happened next what text what the task we will face it that's it mr eddie 
Okay, so you have you still have the other uh, question is this is from Joseph Emmanuel Christian from Sanata Dharma University. I have a question All from right. Diana. Do you think task-based methods in teaching will still be very effective in online learning? Um, I think that's on condition. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Joseph, uh, for the question. Uh, I have no idea with this um, task-based method because um, some of them also find some difficulties. Uh, because the condition, for example, they uh, have to find it um, technology itself, and then some of them also find some. It is a uh, method to give uh, the student to understand the material and to so that can so that they can do the work uh, comfortable. Uh, and rapidly and then um, but also not all students can um, not all students can use this change to make sure they can develop their uh, quality itself uh, some of them might be cheating <laughs> to do the assignment or to understand essential. so I think task-based method is uh, conditional, conditional because we also find it is some difficulties, and then some of them find it is a good uh, method, and some of them also uh, use the uh, this timing to make uh, so that the uh, because. all of them in that time on in all of the time in that's all i think okay thank you mr diana you still have one more question here what is letter of assessment Miss Nina Suryantari. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, thank you for Nina Suryantari, Miss Nina. Uh, I mean, letter of acceptance, sorry. <laughs> letter of assessment. So, acceptance, when we uh, uh, submit our work, for example, there are my, uh, there is my lectures uh, that make us to submit our work by submitted our written so they uh, and then our lecturer wanna uh, make sure that we uh, have to submit it so they uh, wanna prove such as LOE letter of acceptance not letter of assessment sorry <laughs> that's my Okay, is that all, Ms. Fabiana? Yes, uh, I think enough. Okay, thank you, Ms. Fabiana, and thank you for the question from Mr. Eddie, Mr. Joseph, Ms. Nina. Okay, and I want to inform you that Miss Helsa Gita Almaida, the first presenter, cannot be here because the signal, yeah, the internet signal in her hometown is not good. So she's disconnected from the Zoom. That is the one challenge. One of the challenges is uh, that. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have, I've got text from Ms. Zulaiha. They can attend this uh, presentation because 
uh, Sinop Valley today. Sorry, can you repeat? It's not feeling well. Oh, it's, it's not feeling. It's not feeling well. Okay. Uh, I've got the. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Okay. Is there any question? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for participating in this Zoom meeting in, in this parallel session three for this day. Um, thank you for Miss Helsa, for Miss Fabriana, and then thank you for all the participants who are actively engaging in this in this parallel session. So before we uh, end this parallel session, it's better for us to have virtual photo session. So please open your camera. So yeah, let us having virtual photo session. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, LLBC. <laughs> okay, one more. One, two, three, cheese. Okay, good. Do you want more? Okay, one more. <laughs> One, two, three. Good. Thank you for all the participants. Uh, after this, we still have parallel session four. It will be held at 11.30. So if you want to join again, so please join again, okay, in the parallel session four. You can click the link uh, in the chat box. I will give the link here. For the parallel station. One oh, second. This is for the room room one. So if you want to go to another room, you can click the link on the program book. So see you. Thank you.